Aha! Caught you off guard, didn't I? It's because I'm so stealthy. Welcome to Why We're Single, favorite stealth game edition. And uh, to start things off, I want to talk about Dishonored. It's pretty recent, but it was a really fun stealth game. I mean, how many games allow you to, like, possess a fish and then, like, swim around behind someone to get behind their defenses and then jump out of the fish and f***ing kill them from behind? Or, like, blink and teleport up onto windowsills and then, you know, jump on them from a height that would kill you except you use their body to break your fall? It's f***ing awesome. And then you f***ing knock people off using that wind thing when they're pissing and knock them into rivers and stuff. It was an awesome game all around. So many cool ways to stealth kill people. Ooh, you can uh, turn on their little electrified gates when they uh, when they don't know they're on, and then you're just like, hey, and you make a noise or something, and they're like, they come to investigate, and then they walk right into their freaking own electrified gates. It was awesome. Uh, Dishonored was a really, really good game, and I hope we get a sequel or something, something soon, or even a spiritual successor, something set in the world of Dishonored it would be awesome. Uh, so yeah, really hoping for, for some more from that universe. Okay, I gotta talk about uh, I gotta talk about Splinter Cell Conviction. Now, I didn't really ever play the single player Conviction. I only played the co-op multiplayer, which is just ridiculously fun. You can do the choreographed takedowns with your partner. It's pretty awesome. But I think the most awesome part is at the end, at the very end of the Splinter Cell Conviction, you have this part where you face off with your opponent. Now, me and Joe and Char's first job, uh, we got to this section. I had already won, and there's an achievement for winning this section in the Splinter Cell Conviction uh, little face-off mode. And, uh, and Joe and Char's like, come on, I don't have the achievement yet, and I already did. Uh, he's like, just let me kill you. But I couldn't do that. That's obvious, that would have been stupid. So I, I fought him legit, I killed him, and to this day, that is the only achievement that Joe and Char does not have in Splinter Cell Conviction. So the game obviously holds a special place in my heart. Screw you, Soinky. <laughs> come on, if we're gonna talk stealth games, you gotta bring some ninjas to the playing field. And I'm gonna go back to Tenshu. I don't know how many of you actually played Tenshu on the PlayStation, but this game was so good. What you can do is, first of all, you're a ninja assassin. You have like your mark that you have to try to like get through like whatever set of buildings to try to get to. Uh, but what was really cool about the game is like the items that you got from previous levels you could use in the future levels. Uh, and my main trick to beating this game was finding one enemy and getting this little rice patty and kind of throwing it just like 20 feet in front of him and just like waiting for him to kind of like walk away from his group and he's out in the wilderness by himself like, hey look, there's this little rice patty on the ground. Nothing can be bad about eating food off the ground. And then he's dead. One down, 500 more to go. No problem, man. That was not the fastest route to killing everybody, but it worked. And then at the end of each level, you found like the person that you had to kill, so it turned into like this epic ninja sword battle where actually it wasn't that epic because the mechanics were kind of, eh, kind of bad. So you're just like block, 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 block. Okay, attack. All right, he's dead. Now back to the stealth. And then the second game, I believe, brought in co-op. Co-op stealth games are just fantastic. Can't go wrong with that. Double jumping, rooftops. Ah, man, let's make another parkour tenchu game. And then I think we got to talk about the man in the cardboard box. Solid Snake, the original Metal Gear Solid. Come on, sneaking around in the little cardboard box, watching that little question mark pop up, and then wait, waiting to see if they're gonna investigate further or not, and then they keep walking, and then you jump out, and you kill them, and you like choke them to death, and drag their body and put them in a locker. Like, mm -hmm, nothing happened here. Body in a locker, awesome, awesome stuff. Even, there were even parts where you could like, uh, guide those little Nikita missiles through the hallways and you could sneak up on people with a Nikita missile if you did it right They'd be like walking down the hallway and they wouldn't see the little Nikita missile going Ready to kill them and you'd guide it right into them. It was awesome. There was so much uh, stealth You'd hide in the vents, you know if they did kind of find you and they were on the hunt You could hide in the vents and wait till things died down and jump out and kill more people. It was awesome uh, Very good stealth game. I miss the original Metal Gear Solid. I should go back and play it now the other game that holds a special place in my heart is a, it's a classic Hitman. We gotta go back to the original Hitman, uh, the level that starts out and you're, uh, I think you're trying to kill someone in like a Chinese restaurant and you just start out on the street. This game was so difficult yet so rewarding for actually pulling off like the stealthy kills. And there's, the great thing about the Hitman series is there's always more than one way to get the job done. Your target will patrol around the area in different patterns and so you really do feel kind of like a contract stealthy killer because you're kind of, you're following this guy, you're understanding his patterns, what he likes to do, the places he visits uh, throughout the day, and then eventually you find a way to take him out. You kill him, you put him in the sewer drain or something, you steal his clothes, somehow you fool people into thinking that you're that person or something, I don't know, but it, it works. And it's a great game. 
there's there, there's some levels in that game that just take like two hours to beat because the process of actually getting access to all the different areas of the level is just so in depth, so cool. And I don't I can't think of any game off the top of my head that makes you feel more like a badass for actually succeeding at the job. So Hitman, yeah, definitely definitely a great stealth game. Now I know a lot of you are probably expecting me to talk about Batman Arkham Asylum or City. And I, in fact, I was gonna walk in here and talk about him, but I just. I gotta mention Skyrim. Now, a lot of people say, oh, Skyrim's not a, uh, a stealth game. Trust me, the way I played Skyrim was a complete stealth game. If you're playing as an archer and rogue, all you're doing is you're walking through caverns. Like, you spend the entire game just kind of crouched down with the bow, just waiting for, see if your little eye pops up, all right, no one sees me, all right, and kill this guy dead. Uh, it was, I, I think it was the most fun way to play a game. I know some people can just, like, go in there and just, like, those throw dying everyone, just like magic spells and shit. I'm like, nope, no, there's one guy, headshot, oh, nothing to hear, see here, buddy, all right, take you out, bam, all right, take your treasure, uh, pick some locks, gain even more treasure. The first thing I did in that game was steal everybody's money for the achievement, for like the, having like the, the most money in the land achievement or whatever it was called. Yeah, like that game was totally a stealth game if you played it my way, so that counts. One of my favorite stealth games. Uh, that game, I spent 125 hours just kind of like crouching around and killing people one at a time, nice and slowly. In fact, I probably could have beaten that game in like 80 hours if I was just running around killing people. Huh, 127 hours into a game. Yep, that's why I'm single. No regrets. Worth it.